When the two of us stumbled across this little town tucked away in the mountains of Panama, there were a lot of reasons that we decided to change our plans from driving all of the way down to Patagonia to then buying a piece of land here in Panama and building our dream homestead. There was so much that drew us in from such a prominent presence of an indigenous culture to the affordability, the people, the coffee, the organic grocery store, the ease of travel to anywhere in the world, the favorable tax laws, the weather, the nature. But there's one big reason we decided to relocate from the USA to Panama, and we wanted to devote this video to that reason. She's already doing everything. Come on, come on, come on. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> so why did the two of us decide to move to Panama? It's actually really funny because there's a lot of really good reasons that are outside right now on why we decided to come here. The first thing you'll notice when you walk outside is this generator. You want to tell them what happened at 5 a.m. this morning? 5 a.m. this morning. Do you remember? You don't even remember. What happened? Our alarm started going off. Oh, for the solar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah so we have an alarm that goes off when we're low on charge. And yesterday was like the first real rainy season day. Like. It came down. What happens is it starts like drizzling, it starts getting raining, I'm like, oh look, it's raining. Yeah. And then... Woo! It's our first heavy rain of the, of the year, love. Damn, it is it's coming, coming down, down. Dude. Oh, man. So not only did we get a really bad charge yesterday, but we wanted to basically dry. I was going to say thaw out, but that's not the right word. We wanted to let our chickens dry, so we kind of kept like the, the heat lamp on them for extra time. Yeah. Oh boy. Right. <laughs> so believe it or not, that's honestly a reason why I moved to Panama. Another reason why I moved to Panama, you see my cell phone here on this gravel pit? Well, we're uploading the last video that you just watched and we only get service right now, right on this gravel pit. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's been uploading for over 12 hours. And of course, the place where we decide to put the bus is where there's a dead zone. Yeah. <laughs> Here we get a little bit, we get like half a megabyte of upload and download right now. So that's another reason we moved to Panama. And then check this out. We just noticed this yesterday. So I told you we got a rainy, a big rainy day. Look how rainy. This is our driveway. <laughs> and maybe a quarter of it just got washed away. I don't even know how that happened. There must've been like a big buildup of water up there. And then it all just came down. So believe it or not, this is another reason that we decided to move to Panama. So Jordan and I really, really want to build as much as we can out of wood. But working with wood in Panama is pretty tricky. There's a lot of things to consider um, with moisture, with termites, with bugs. So basically what we're doing is we're burning the outside of the wood to put a layer of carbon on it to prevent from bugs going inside. And now we're putting a nice layer of, what is this shiz called? This is straight up chemicals. Straight up chemicals, but this is the underneath of the wood, so. The top of the wood we did linseed oil. Yeah. Because that's not toxic. But right. this is super toxic and this is <clears throat> going on the bottom. Yeah. So any termites or any bugs, they're not getting on it. They're not getting in there. So a lot of you guys are probably thinking, what the hell are you doing? What are you thinking? These are so many challenges. Why are you putting yourself in this situation? And long story short, this is how Jordan and I have been living for the last three years, is putting ourselves in situations where we need to figure shit out and face the challenges head on. Lola girl. Oh, what'd you see? Look at how she stands. <laughs> she loves the day. She's loving this. Sometimes we've had the wood just laying out here for the last 24 hours. And, 
every time I look out the window, she's just laying on the deck. She's sprawled out, just totally embracing it. Have you ever had like this feeling of unrest before where you feel like you need to do something, but nothing you ever do fulfills that need to like, I need to do something. I don't know what I need to do. And, and I need to do it yesterday. <laughs> and I need to do it yesterday, but I don't know what it is. Yeah, for that sure. That used to happen to me when I was living in Boston. I always felt like I needed to be doing something. Yeah. Even if I worked a 10 hour day, or even if I went to the gym, or even if I did a bunch of stuff and I was super productive, right. I felt always felt like I didn't do enough. Yeah. You feel like you're constantly doing things and like keeping your brain and, and your body busy, but oh. you never get that full feeling of like fulfillment and satisfaction. So at, ever since we came onto this land, I've never felt that feeling ever again. Like this sense of, of unfulfillment. Yeah, and of like, un, like, this like unrest and need to do yeah, something. Yeah, definitely. Wind crunch time right now. Look at this. So this is north, that's south. So the wind comes from the south, and these are rain clouds. Kaylee's just finishing up the painting here. We got just this little piece to do in the underneath, and then we just need to let it dry. You think this will keep the chickies nice and dry? Whew, I don't know. They were swimming a little bit yesterday. There was maybe this much water underneath there. We've just been using this hay that our cows so generously destroyed and spread all around for us. Luckily, <laughs> it's only $5, so we can go get another one. We have to have another one. We have a farm now, Kaylee. I know, I that's like the rule. You gotta have a hay bale if, you're, if you're gonna have a farm. Here's a little update on the chickies. They definitely didn't like the papaya. I don't know, we can't get in to eat our kitchen scraps yet, but that's the plan. I think the older they get, they will. The challenge of moving to Panama, of living in Panama, is something that's kind of like drawing us here and the obstacles that come with that. And probably one of the biggest ones is getting materials. So I went to the hardware store yesterday and it's not really a hardware store, it's more of a grocery store with like a couple aisles with some stuff. And I just want to show you guys where we're getting our materials from right now. And I am so jealous of all of you that have a Home Depot because what I can tell you is your spray paint aisle is bigger than my whole hardware store right now. <laughs> so this is what the hardware store looks like. So I've just come down to town and I just need to come pick up a couple things. I want to show you guys the hardware store. I can leave our house for a total of four hours a week. So this is two of those hours. I've come down to the hardware store. Well, it's not really a hardware store, it's actually a grocery store. And then this is the hardware section. So it's like three or four aisles in the back of a grocery store. Well, that was a total failure. They really don't have a lot there and everything that they did have, they're running out of. So I was just looking for some black spray paint to help protect the metal for our deck. And they don't have any more black spray paint. They only have like pink and green. Also, if we don't wear a mask, if we don't wear one of these, we get a fine. And if we break our quarantine, then we lose our driver's license, our car is impounded, we get a fine and we have to do community service. So it's not really worth it. Just trying to follow the rules. So I got to start going back home because like I said, I only have a little bit of time. So we've had a really hard time finding materials, not only now when everything's closed, but even when everything was open. So I would really love to have a countersink bit because what we're doing is we have these hex heads and these are actually roofing screws. And we're gonna countersink these in the boards because the screws that they have in Panama are like a joke. Because everything here is built out of cement and concrete. Right. these out. Panama's finest. These are supposed to be self-tapping screws and the self-tapping part just melts once it hits metal. <laughs> I've even tried going really slow so I have to pre-drill all these holes. It was just Kaylee's two hour window where she could go out where she could break quarantine and I worked so hard to try and get the deck all done I wanted her to come back and have all the screws in, at least on two sides so we can stand on it and walk around without the board shifting around. And she just pulled in. And I got so close, look at this. I only have one board left. <laughs> Hi, love. Come and look. You like it? Yeah. 
slowly. No, these holes aren't bad. Once we fill them up, fill them up with wood filler, I think it'll be fine. How'd the hardware store go? Epic fail. Completely an epic fail. They shut down at 12 o'clock. <laughs> Welcome to our life, you guys. This is our fifth day of trying to get some stuff on this hardware store. <gasps> Here it comes, baby. We gotta get this board done. Let's ready? do it, let's do it, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Come on, let me get up here. Help us. Now what are we gonna do? <laughs> Lay on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! We have a deck ball! She's like, thanks for building your deck ball. We're gonna have a place to look at the stars. Watch the sunrise. Thanks guys for building it. <laughs> Prepare. You gotta prepare for the for the pouring. For the pouring? <laughs> for the pouring. When the thunder starts roaring, you gotta prepare for the pouring. It sounds like you said porn. Pouring. <laughs> <laughs> pouring. So, of course the rain came. It was a quick one hour downpour, and then it let up enough for us to get some soil for our next little project. So thank the Lord, we can still get Amazon packages right now. Cause we just ordered this survival garden heirloom seeds. It's really hard to find organic uh, non-GMO seeds down here. So luckily we were able to order some on Amazon. Um, this one I really, really like cause it's all heirloom seeds, um, all non-GMO, non-hybrid. So this is the pure, the pure shiz. So if you guys, good. this is a good good. So if you guys want to check it out, um, we'll put a little link a uh, little Amazon link down below so you guys can go check it out. Just finished planting a little cauliflower, broccoli, onion, tomato, cucumber, and Brussels sprouts. Ooh, baby. Pretty good start. We, we saw Swiss chard, romaine lettuce, and kale started outside. Those are almost ready to go into the ground. And don't forget about the hibiscus tea. Oh, we got hibiscus, sage, cilantro. Parsley. Parsley. Mm -hmm. All that stuff is coming up nicely, but now we got some real. This like, is like the real food. stuff. Yeah. And there's still so many more seeds. Like, look at all these seeds that are. We have to go, like. Watermelon. I, I never even thought about planting watermelon before. No. Super pumped. The good thing for us too is we, we really don't know what we're doing, as you guys know. <laughs> when it comes to a lot of stuff about homesteading, including planting seeds, and this has like little instructions. This video isn't sponsored by this garden kit or anything either. It's just, we found it on Amazon. We're like, hey, survival garden. That's so, a perfect thing for right now. Per perfect for right now. Now what do you want to do? Oh, well, we have a deck. Maybe we should go look up at the stars. You want to go stargazing on the deck? Let's go stargazing on the deck. I think deck. We, should, we should end this video right here and, and leave these guys with the little stars on the deck. All right, homies, this is where we're leaving you. We're going to go enjoy this little, little stargaze sesh. We'll see you next time.